Welcome to the second video on the applications of right triangle trigonometry. The goal of this video is to solve application problems using right triangle trigonometry. Right triangles can be used to find the distances if the angle of elevation or depression is known. So this horizontal line represents the line of sight. Looking upward, this would be the angle of elevation, or looking downward, this would be the angle of depression. Similarly, bearings which are used in navigation can be used to determine distances. Bearings are measured from due north or in terms of north, east, south, or west. So here's an example. Here's due north. North 50 degrees east would be represented by this angle here. Notice how it's measured clockwise from due north. And that's important because if direction is not mentioned, it is assumed the bearings are given as angles rotated clockwise from the north. As another example, let's say this was 30 degrees. I could say a bearings of 210 degrees, 180 plus 30, or I could say south 30 degrees west. Two ways to note the same direction. Let's go and take a look at a couple problems. Juan's eyesight is 5 feet 6 inches from the ground. When he stands 100 feet away from the flagpole, the angle of elevation is 45 degrees 48 minutes. What is the height of the flagpole? So let's go ahead and sketch what's happening here. If this is Juan, then let's call this the line of sight. This would be 5 feet 6 inches. Let's convert this to a decimal. So this would be 5.5 .5 feet. and he's standing 100 feet away from the flagpole. So over here, 100 feet, we have a flag. And the angle of elevation, this angle here, is 45 degrees, 48 minutes. So let's go ahead and convert this 48 minutes to a decimal. So we would take 48 and divide by 60. And that's gonna give us 0.8. So we have 45.8 degrees for our angle of elevation. And the question is, what is the height of the flagpole? So we can figure out this distance here. Let's just call it y. And then we can't forget that we do have to add this extra 5.5 .5 feet to find the total height of the flagpole. So we have a right triangle here. What we can see that this is the opposite side and the adjacent side to the given angle. So we can say the tangent of 45.8 degrees must equal y over 100. So if we put this over 1, we could just perform cross products. 1 times y would equal y. And y will equal tangent 45.8 degrees times 100. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Times 100. And 102.83 feet. Now be careful, that's not the height of the flag because we still have to add 5.5 .5 feet from his line of sight to the ground. So the total height of the flagpole would be 108.33 feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more problem. A ship travels 55 kilometers on a bearing of 27 degrees, then travels on a bearing of 117 degrees for 120 kilometers. Find the distance traveled from the starting point to the ending point. So the first thing I notice, there's no direction given with these angles, so we know that they're clockwise from due north. So if we see our starting point is here and due north is here, we would rotate clockwise 27 degrees for a distance of 55 kilometers. So this would be 55 kilometers and this would be 27 degrees. Now from this point, this is due north, now we'll rotate 117 degrees for 120 kilometers. So 117 degrees would be, that would be roughly 90, and then about 27 more, 
and for a distance of 120 kilometers. Let's call this 120 kilometers. And this would be 117 degrees. And the question is, what is the distance from this point to the starting point? So we'll call this x. OK, so we need to figure out some more angles for this triangle. And the first thing we should notice is that these two red lines would be parallel because they're both due north. So if they're both due north, these two interior angles would be supplementary or would add to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 27 would give us 153 degrees for this angle. And we kind of lucked out here because if you add 153 plus 117, that's going to equal 270 degrees. Well, if these two add to 270 and these three angles would equal 360, this makes this angle right here a right angle. So we do have a right triangle. And since we have a right triangle, we know that the three sides of a right triangle can relate to one another from the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, where c squared is the hypotenuse. So we have x squared must equal 55 squared plus 120 squared. So x squared will equal, go to our calculator, 55 squared plus 120 squared, 17,425. And we'll take the principal square root. And we can see that it's approximately 132 kilometers. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.